Okay, so this video is a profession in crisis, discrimination in veterinary medicine, and they are teaching this now. They are requiring, at some places, people training to become vets to watch this. I've never in my life been around white people who tried to make me feel inferior to them. That is, and until I entered veterinary medicine, Veterinary medicine is the least racially and ethnically diverse profession in the United States today. There's no white equivalent to Michael Vick. <laughs> I've had white coworkers use the N word around me when I Pause. reported. No! <laughs> Bullshit! <laughs> right away! Absolutely not! You just Bull said. Shit. Look, is there no diversity, or did that happen? Yes. <laughs> which, which is it? By the way, the a Klansman, no. Ed Norton in American History X, doesn't want to be fired from his job. Yeah. They go home and they call you that if they're an actual racist. They don't do it there while you're, while yeah. you're, while you're spaying a cat. Yeah, they whisper it to somebody else. Right. There's no, if, you would be the last person to hear it. They want to make you think that working in your local vet office is, is like an episode of Roots. <laughs> Well, unless, of course, somebody brings in a bleeding fighting pit bull and it happens to be the dog's name. Right. <laughs> yeah, that could be what? true. Yes. That's absolutely That's an unfortunate true. situation. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that is true. There's there's a series of films called Ghetto Dog. There you go. Like I said, hold on oh, yeah. leash. Ghetto Dog. Yeah, yeah. no, that was Spelled being, correctly. That was being uh, marketed to white tweens. That can't be the only. There's got to be at least 20 rap covers that have that on it. No, but there's <laughs> several Ghetto Dog. It's like a series. Oh, is it really? Yeah, it's a series. I got to watch it. VBMA meeting, a prominent speaker said, Fed school is like slavery. Like slavery. We have the scars on our backs, too. Okay. The room was full of predominantly white vet students. Oh, wow. They all laughed. I doubt a funny it. Joke. When I reported several comments about my race to HR, my employer reprimanded me and threatened to terminate me for making false claims. Well, were you, pause, yeah. were, were you making false claims? <laughs> yeah. Were you making, because she just said multiple. Were you making multiple unsubstantiated false claims or like the broad before you going in and disrupting work being like, he called me the lady with the scarf. Well, maybe you should stop wearing scarves. It's cold as shit. Well, then you're the lady with the scarf. I'm going to file a complaint. And they're like, please leave this office. Yeah. You've made $1,400 in personal calls this month. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Do you know how hard that is in 2021? You made me buy Vonage. Do you know how much we all hate Vonage? All of Throughout our vet school career, most of our classmates used our three names interchangeably. They oh. couldn't bother to figure out who was who. Oh my God. Did you look like someone else? The Maybe you're just an asshole. The they don't care about you. Yeah. One was black and one was white. One of our professors consistently referred to them as Tracy and Black Tracy. Come on! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's probably just like uh, Tracy or Tracy, uh, Tracy, Black Tracy. <laughs> and yeah. then you laugh, he's like, all right, good. I have some people who aren't going to report me to HR for a physical description because there's nothing. What is racist about Black Tracy? Look, this is also one of those things that's really silly. Like you watch boxing or you watch a fight yeah. and there's a guy, there's a guy who this, uh, my, my uh, Canadian, uh, uh, <laughs> old uncle would call yeah. black, black as pitch. You have a guy who's black as pitch, dark. You have, a, yeah. you have a Nigerian guy fighting an Irishman with red hair. And they'll be like, uh, of course, we have Nganu in the black trunks. Really? Is that how we're going to identify them? Like, you can't, it's, now are you saying that, uh, of course, the fighter at Nganu uh, from, Ni from Nigeria or whatever it is, wherever he's from, I don't know if he's yeah, from yeah. Cameroon, wherever he's, uh, say, African, uh, is that saying they're inferior? No. It's saying Tracy and Black Tracy saying Black Tracy's inferior? Or would you rather say Tracy and Tracy number two, Tracy and Black Hair Tracy, Tracy and Weave Tracy, Tracy hoop earrings Tracy? My point is, Boy what do Tracy, you pick? who's Dick Tracy. <laughs> I have a quote ethnic sounding name. I am white. When applying for a summer equine job, my professor told me to include a picture with my applications. I wouldn't get hired, he said, if they, quote, see your name and think you are black. So, uh, sounds to me like your qualm is with your parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't have named yeah. you Dashiki. Mandatory yes. instructional video at the company I work for refers to Mexicans as being instinctively good at animal raising. 
And that is why they fill so many animal agriculture jobs. <laughs> they refuse to update it. Damn okay, positive they stereotype. And let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. They they said that uh, they said that Latinos are instinctive. By the way, she didn't say Latinx because no. yeah. it's us versus them. I think she refers to herself as Latinx later. It sounds like the same voice, but oh, it's boy. hard to know with hormone replacement therapy. But she says they said that Latinos are uh, naturally good or Mexicans, Mexicans are naturally good one. at raising animals. They refuse to update the information and. They shouldn't. Uh, for reference, see Chiquita. Here's the thing. If you look at Mexico as a country, they're a and they've been for a very long time, a very agrarian culture. Yeah. Their main export is not phones. It's not new technology. It's not coders. It's not even pop culture like us with films. It is primarily Aliens. agricultural. They have yeah. some very fertile soils and they have very effective farmers. That's why they often come here and they seek farm jobs. Not because that's the only jobs they can get. They actually pay pretty well and it's often some kind of work that they're familiar with mm -hmm. and that would lend itself to being at least familiar with working with animals. That's not a racial thing. That's specifically speaking about Mexic Mexico, the country. Lie. Yeah, lies. That's absolutely a lie. Avet spoke down to my mother for her broken English and assumed she was just not going to pay for care just because she is Latina. Hold on a second. Up. Did they assume that she wasn't going to pay for care because they said, how do you plan to pay for care? And she said, Okay, because that's a little bit different. Yeah. They've, people all the time. Lemon pledge? Yeah, yes. No. They, people oh, all the time dang. with my with my mother. What? My mother is French Canadian. Right. People always ask her about her accent all the time. I knew some people who were immigrants from Germany, okay, who lived um, someplace outside of Dallas. Uh, Hill something, Hill something. People will know it's not Hillsboro. Hill. Hillsboro. Hillsboro, Texas. Yes. And uh, they would be like, people, people will get mad. People will still ask us, where are you from? When did you? We've been here for 20 years. <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't get mad at them. That's a way. I'll yeah. often say, like, my that's a pretty accent. My that's an interesting accent. Where do you, as someone who sort of studies dialects, as someone who, I, I'm, I'm an observer of how people yeah. speak. My mom still gets it all the time, and she's as white as white can be. Yeah. By the way, do me a favor next time in these videos. Please define talked down yeah. to, because you could just be a, an affected prick. <laughs> yeah. You, know? or you very could be somebody sensitive. who's looking for an opportunity to be offended. And I don't really care. And again, foreign people, like, people don't understand that people who are foreign, not from the United States, with someone else who is not from the United States, meeting in the United States, that's where the real fireworks happen. Yeah. When my mom is speaking with someone who doesn't speak English, my mom and her broken French-Canadian English is speaking to the Honduran housekeeper lady like she's deaf. <laughs> like, so can you clean behind the couch? I don't... I'm saying behind and not in front of that. Okay. <laughs> Can you clean behind the... Oh, behind the couch. Like, they have no... It's, there's, they're just constantly... It's not a volume issue. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah, they have no problem reading prescription labels. <laughs> I don't oh. really so much know. They read Those it go as, missing. As, That's uh, my point. Go down the gullet. Right. Through the gullet, down the gums. Watch That's the stomach, true. here it comes. <laughs> okay? I don't know. Stop. Yeah. It's funny. Recently, while a co-worker was restraining a difficult animal, they said, oh, no. don't make me George Floyd you. No! What? <laughs> 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 that has never uh, happened in a professional working ever. environment. Ever. Aside Sorry. from this one, well, ever since we've watched yeah, this almost video. Almost every day. Hold Can you on, picture I'm, just a veterinarian getting like down on one knee and being, listen, little girl, <laughs> I'm afraid your dog has cancer and we're going to have to George Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. This isn't true. Why? Are, let's not even go False. down that rabbit trail. False. I don't believe any of these. And this is the problem. Maybe some of them are true. But now I will believe no future victims. A very common Latinx last name. When Latinx. I was an intern at a university, a resident in charge of assessing my performance felt the need to call me by a different generic Latin X last name every time he encountered me. No, that, Everyone kept saying. No, that's because he thought your he thought your first name was Latin, your last name was X, because he didn't know anyone was that much of an asshole to use the term in real life. <laughs> right. I'm your that name's X. X. I'm not calling you X. Why are we? Whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> All right, keep I don't even care. It's just a joke. He doesn't mean aspirating. anything by it. <laughs> It's just jokes. The people who did it were fired, but I was made to feel guilty about getting these popular people fired. Well, that's a better Upper deal. Upper management <laughs> wasn't able to address the culture that made these events possible. They lost everything, and I, I felt left. guilt. 
<laughs> the institution I work for has known problems with racism against students and faculty, which I've been subjected to multiple times. They've done little to change You're a the white climate. woman. Well, the I don't... average faculty member of color stays just three years on average. Okay, pause, pause, I've pause, worked... pause, pause. That one doesn't even have any specifics. There's nothing. Yeah. It just <laughs> no. says people are treated very poorly if they are a minority. They stay for three years. Uh, don't tell them about the fact that they were stealing uh, ketamine from the horse tranquilizing yeah. <laughs> shelf. Like, this This says we are now at the point where nothing is corrupt. It's not even a yeah, claim nothing. that can be refuted because there is no claim. There's nothing. Maybe they got promoted and they're running a center down the road now. Maybe they now run their own inner city veterinary clinic. Or country. It doesn't have to be inner city, Stephen. No, it does. <laughs> the single most important issue? Oh, really? How about lymphoma? I just had to put down a dog that about stopped my heart. Existential threat. <laughs> Is this an existential wow. threat? <laughs> Like it's like the fifth <laughs> kind documentary <laughs> about abductions. It's oh an existential threat. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.